When I got asked to come to Roskilde, uh, I decided that I should keep a, a focus on something that I'm interested in. And uh, I found by going through uh, Pan American music that I could hit on something which is essentially a very hot political to topic right now, and that is immigration. I met a young girl, Gabby Moreno. She's 27. She is an immigrant to the United States. She knows what the borderline is all about. She's from a very fine, decent family in Guatemala City. And she decided she loved this music, as I do. And so we took a trip back to these great romantic classics of Latin America to find the rhythms we love that said the things that we think are important to think about. And um, so I'm a man behind the curtain. There's a place where I've been told Every street is paved with gold And it's just to cross the borderline I thought that this was a great opportunity. I presented some very difficult arrangements for a bunch of young people. Probably made a lot of them mad, but they got through it beautifully, with fluently. No problem, no language barrier. I'm totally happy with it, and I think that it served what I want to do. I want to serve people that are younger than any of my neckties. I want to illuminate and I want to excite and agitate young people, especially musicians. The answers are in the arts. They're not in science or we would have cleaned up the Gulf of Mexico yesterday. Man is arrogant where he finds his humility, his purpose is in the arts. What a better way to celebrate American independence than by serving the Danish National Youth Ensemble. Now you're still just I don't have any answers, but I want my music to raise questions. I would like to comfort people, but I'd also like to take some people that are comfortable by the throat and yank them into a sense of obligation to improving this world. I'm one of the small guys in Denmark who's making an effort to do that. I love this place.